Good morning. It is Columbia Day and I am frightened but I'm going on an excursion. Let me see the pattern for today. This was not a comforting welcome. General safety guidelines. Stay in the normal tourist areas and don't travel out of the way to places without a reputable guided tour. Always travel with a companion. I'm by myself. Do not leave any belongings unattended. Be generally aware of people and activities around you. Do not accept packages from anyone, obviously. Keep a low profile. Dress and behave conservatively. Be careful in choosing places to eat and drink. We meet in an hour at Province Dining Room. Let me show you. We actually started seeing land about an hour ago. And I saw another cruise ship, but it was a small one. Wow. Oh my gosh, my lens fogged up. I hope you could see. It's that humid, wow. Try that again. I have an hour before the meeting time. I'm gonna go grab something for breakfast and get a coffee. I'm gonna pack very lightly. I'll actually just have my phone, not the GoPro because I'm so afraid of this place. I'm actually terrified. So, yeah, I'll be back right at 1.30 when the tour ends. Okay, I'm heading to the province dining room to meet up. We were going to go to the new city or the little Miami as we call the new city. She will show you how they melt the silver. The elements that they need are a spoon clay like this. They not move. You want to get closer? The torch. A bar of silver, about six grams. You can see. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah. So that's six grams. Yes. Uh, you want to test around? As soon as we move the fire, the silver makes solid again. The temperature of the torch is about 1,000 Celsius degrees and a half.
Now let's see where it's solid. Just that back. Yes. And now you can touch it again. Cartagena, where we are now, this is Manga Island, okay, where we start our tour, Manga Island. As I said, we are a little island surrounded by different islands. Ah. Uh, the old city is another little island. Where we are going to go, the new city, or the little Miami, as people call the new city, is another little island. Now, connected to the old town, we have now three islands all of those islands join to the old town through an artificial landfill but that was that was at the end of 19th century that's what we are going to see the now in our left our cemetery anybody we know in there you guys get earthquakes <laughs> No, no. we're well, very, very lucky. Like so you because don't get earthquakes and you don't get hurricanes. Wow. Yeah, big oil is our most important economical activity in Cartagena. Oil. Most of locals they work in the oil companies or they want to. The fort called Saint Philip of Barajas. Wow. That's We lost Panama, okay? That's a, a more long history, okay? But, <laughs> let, but later on, yeah, I'm going to tell you a little bit oh, that okay. Panama is not Colombia. Wait. After wow. Panama, British, they came, they had taken Cartagena over all Latin American people would be speaking English, okay? Because Cartagena used to be very powerful. But what happened when British, when they were here, the general called Edward Vernon, uh, he, he gave up, okay? When he gave up, he didn't go back to England because that was a real shame because he was sure that he was going to take this place over. And he said in England, okay? Give me at least a uh, hundred days. I'm gonna go to America and all the colonies of Spanish are going to belong to Elizabeth, okay? What happened was that that never happened, okay? And it's been said that he preferred to go back to USA with his captain called Lawrence Washington. And when Edward Vernon, when he was in Lawrence, when he was in USA, it's been said that Lawrence Washington the older brother of George Washington named his farm Mount Vernon to pay tribute oh, oh. Yeah, to his general called Edward Vernon in Cartagena. Lawrence Washington, he didn't know that his young brother called George was going to fight against British to declare the independence of USA. And George Washington became more important and popular than Lawrence, that if now we ask someone from you say, you know Mount Vernon? Most of them say, yes, of course. Why well, is called Mount Vernon? Then to George, but no. It's called Mount Vernon, then to Lawrence Washington, his older brother that was here in Cartagena in 1741. They used 
to stay here where we are now, okay? But now people want to go to the old town, okay? In the corner is that Castillo Grande neighborhood, okay? Where live most of our politicians of the city. Okay. Hey, you know, our biggest problem here is corruption, okay? You have to know that. Don't yeah. say it. <laughs> but uh, here in Cartagena, we have a... Uh, we don't have... We don't have a mayor, okay? Now. Because, because he's our, in jail. Yeah, yeah, he's in jail, yeah, he's in jail. Oh our former mayor is in jail. Why is he in jail? <laughs> he, he's been said that he disappeared more than 40,000 million of Colombian pesos in four months, okay? Next month, we are gonna have a new mayor. So I made it back on the ship alive and I made this emerald ring on my jewelry making excursion and it was really fun. I was surprised when we pulled up to this place because it looked like a little, sh it was kind of a ghetto place, but they explained that this is the Diamond International's Emerald International place where they give scholarships to people who couldn't afford to go to gem cutting school regularly. And so they get a scholarship to go there and they spend two years apprenticing and um, they had, I believe it was some of those students instructing us and helping us make our jewelry. My bracelet was a disaster. If I had taken that, it would have cut my wrist up ridiculously. After we did that, he took us to an emerald shopping place and museum. And it was so funny because the guy who taught our class at the emerald school was there waiting for us at the museum. And so we're like, is it really just across the street? And they drove us in a loop around the town. <laughs> the whole tour, we had 11 people in our bus. Everybody was so fun and social. And there was a couple there that actually lives in Washington uh, who I was sitting next to. And I kind of walked with them through the museum and talked with the girl. She did a 16 day cruise on her own before. So that was like, just surprising. She lives really nearby me and she's gone through that, what I'm doing right now. There were people trying to sell us things while we were riding through town on the bus. They were holding jewelry and t-shirts and hats and bottles of water and drinks. Some guy had like repackaged nuts that he was trying to sell. So it was very aggressive salesmanship on the street. On the way back into the port, they had a peacock sitting there eating out of a little feeder. There's this little black bird that was next to the peacock that bullied it away from its food. A tiny little black bird and they said he said it's from Mexico but they've kind of adopted it and they have thousands of them here now but then as we continue driving in toward the boat I saw like 10 peacocks they're just lounging around on the pier and I didn't have my camera out so unfortunately I didn't get any pictures but I also saw a white peacock which I did not know existed and one of the people on the bus said that's a female who knew that white peacocks were the women f and why haven't I never seen it? Um, my mind is blown. According to our tour guide, um, to buy a house, the lowest place will be around 300,000 US dollars. And then the most expensive places go up to 6 million or more. And he said that they don't have a mayor right now because the way he said it, this can't be how they actually say it, but I think he just misspoke. He said 40,000 million of their dollars went missing in four months under the last mayor. So that mayor is now in jail. 
and they don't have one, there's going to be an election next month to replace him. And that that guy used to be a baseball player in America. <laughs> the corruption is insane. And the guy that was in that couple, I just told them, I don't think it's possible anybody would pay that much for a home here. And he was like, yeah, you pay that much because of the extortion and to have protection from it and from the gangs. So you're not really paying for the property, but you're paying for the building being protected or whatever the case. There's a lot of flooding everywhere. He said that every couple of days it floods. He's it's um like 85 plus degrees and 100% humid here. He said this is their winter and for the locals this is considered cold, which is crazy. I asked what the temperature gets to and he said it's regularly 40 degrees Celsius. That doesn't tell me anything, but I'll have to google it. So yeah, I didn't buy any emeralds. I actually didn't bring any cash with me except for a tip for the driver and for my instructor at the emerald class. This ring was just so pretty. And it turned out that almost everybody on our bus out of 11 people got their ring. And some of them bought additional pieces of the ones that they made. It was $30 per additional piece you wanted. If you bought two, you got the third one free. So then you get all of your pieces. It was a really good excursion. And our tour guide was very fun and informative. And he had an accent, but he understood everything. And people were asking pretty difficult questions of him and our instructor at the school. Somebody asked why the emeralds grow in calcite and he actually had a scientific answer for it so i was very impressed and i would do that excursion again in a heartbeat i'm very glad that i decided to get off the boat in columbia but it is as scary as i thought it was going to be um and very aggressive salespeople everywhere so tomorrow we do our scenic cruising of the panama canal and I will be up in the sanctuary all day for that, so I'll definitely be showing you. But for the rest of the afternoon, I have to look at what's going on. I really want to get some more into my book, Path Between the Seas, because that was kind of the reading I wanted to do on the ship. So I think now I'll head up to the sanctuary, put my headphones on, and just relax while we sail away. So as we came back here, tour guide said this is the South American cruise line, Pole Manter. And then the couple that lives in Washington was pointing out that this is a refurbished Royal Caribbean ship. And you can kind of tell by the upper deck and the rock climbing wall and just some of the other features that are signature to Royal Caribbean. So that's cool. There's another small ship on the other side. I don't know what it's called. Oh, thank you. They just brought me a cold, wet towel to wipe my hands with. So anyway, this is the port. It is so humid here. And on this side, I didn't get to show you this morning because it's the side I don't have a room on. That's their new city, which is the expensive part of town. Nobody's out here because of how hot it is. And my chair is actually somewhat in the sun, so I have my sunscreen ready to go. We should be sailing away here soon. Oh, here's the other ship, Columbus. CMV, I have never heard of that. Oh my gosh, they have a little binocular thing. I think she's looking at me. <laughs> anyway. It was beautiful today. Oh boy, it's tea time and I got three trays today. I'm loving the tea with lemon instead of cream. It actually tastes fantastic. And I'm currently trying to upload pictures to Instagram, which has proven to be impossible using princess internet. I'm not happy at all with the internet on the ship. The fact that you have to pay per minute. I'm not the kind of person who can disconnect ever. And for Instagram to not work for now almost three days straight is unacceptable because I've spent probably an hour of my minutes um, waiting for things to load and process and then have it just tell me that it failed or that there's no internet connection at all. Keep that in mind if you are very into being able to post on social media. It's one of the most important things to me while I'm traveling. So yeah. Um, there are rumors that they're going to be adding an unlimited option, but 
they are just too far behind. I can't say anything positive about it. It's just ridiculous. So I'm going to be going to talk to the internet manager this afternoon when they open the cafe to find out why it's doing that and to get refunded. I'm sorry, but if you're going to nickel and dime me on minutes, I'm going to be a stickler about it and come and complain because, yeah, here, failed. Why did it fail? tour guide said that the biggest industries in Colombia are oil, tourism, I want to say mining, emeralds. Tourism is third, not first. I found that was interesting. He also said people that live here strive to work at that refinery. I was really shocked by some of the information we received today. <music> Let's see what the sandwiches are today. Tuna, vegetable, tomato and prosciutto, caprice, turkey, onion and, um, oh, what's that called? Salmon or something. I, that's got a better word for it, but I can't remember. Fancy. And the third plate is cookies. Oh, those look good. Listening to my book on Audible. It's about 5 30. And we're gonna get to the canal tomorrow for scenic cruising. It's about an hour before anything happens, so I hope I can get a little further through my book. Canal Day. 